Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuestor.com. Today I'll be going over moving site collections between content databases, or in other words, splitting or merging content databases in SharePoint 2010. So you may want to split content databases up if uh, site collections are outgrowing the content database size or if they're not uh, if they're not consuming a lot of capacity you may want to merge uh, site collections into fewer number of content databases uh, you can move one site collection from one content database into another you could move all site collections from content from one content database into another as well uh, the uh, process is fairly simple however there are some things that uh, need to be in place in order for this to work so the destination content database must already exist the source content database and the destination content database must be located on the same instance of SQL Server and then the uh, source content database and destination content database must be attached to the same web application so we're gonna go through the process of uh, first of all we're gonna create a new content database uh, through PowerShell we'll just, uh, we'll just create a, a target destination content database and then we'll move a site collection from one content database into another uh, so let's go ahead and get started in SharePoint central administration I'm gonna go into application management view uh, all site collections you change your web application whichever web application we want to work with I'm going to be working with web application 80 uh, assuming this contracts site collection is the one that's outgrowing the size of the entire uh, content database and I need to split this off for whatever reasons maybe performance maybe it's a business driven issue maybe contracts need to live on spec on their own con uh, content database so this is the one I'm gonna be working with I will be moving this to a different content database I'm gonna call it contracts <coughs> so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and perform that so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch management shell 2010 SharePoint 2010 management shell I'm gonna right click and run as administrator and while this loads up I'm gonna launch notepad let me paste in here the command that will create the target content database so the new SP content database name content database here we're gonna call this WSS contracts the web application is SharePoint 2010 oops and this is gonna be the web application so we're gonna copy this in here and paste it into here and go ahead and create that content database so the next command line I'm gonna look for is to move the site collection so let me grab that and while the database is being created let me paste this in here so move SP site the name of the site or the address of the site it's gonna be contract slash site slash contracts so I'm just gonna do a replacement destination content database is gonna be WSS underscore contracts is what we're creating right now let's see where that stands okay so it has been created uh, make sure that you get an okay or you get get uh, cleared on the uh, creation of the content database no no error messages <coughs> and let me go ahead and paste now the command to uh, make sure it's contracts yep contracts uh, the command that will move the co the site collection from the WSS content database to the WSS contracts database okay so I'm gonna go ahead and execute you will get a confirmation message whether you wanna yes or no or suspend the operation we're gonna say yes go ahead and do it and it's gonna go through the process an IS reset needs to happen so uh, I'm just gonna type IS reset attempting to stop and then it will start again so this will be the process for splitting up 
content databases or merging content databases because I could grab the site collection and for reasons of performance I could either take it away from one content database and make that smaller or take it away and put it on a different content database and make that other content database larger based again on my business uh, driver and based on the requirement that I have. Okay, so the IS has started. Let's come back in here and refresh for the contracts, or I could just probably click on it. We expect to see now this is under WSS contracts. So this site collection has been moved from one content database into another. Uh, there is another command that I will put in the description beneath the video that enables you to move all site collections from one content database into another content database. Reasons for that, the name of the content database like I had it before may have been WSS underscore content and I want to call this my company SharePoint instance or something else. Uh, this concludes this video. Thank you for listening in and until next time.